So, today is Mahashivratri. The question is, are you fasting or are you feasting or are you doing upwas? Which one are you doing? Well, fasting, let's put that aside because it gets very confusing with other religions. Um, so I'm going to put that one to bed. Feasting, definitely. I think most people will be feasting today, but they're saying they are fasting. And the reason for that is because they're probably eating deep fried mogul, deep fried potato chips. <sighs> Ooh, oh yes, can't forget the uh, Folhar Shiro called Singora no Shiro, full of ghee. Oh, lovely, lovely. Sugar, <coughs> tasty. <clears throat> anyway, um, the whole idea is not fasting, not feasting, but upwas. Upwas requires you to have a light diet or something as light as possible so at the most what you could have is boiled potatoes and some peanuts and uh, some people may add some ghee to that uh, just to flavor it up and that's what some people may have but some people will have that all day some people will even have ferrari jevro which is deep fried potatoes and other things and nuts and uh, some type of salt and some sugar and how is this fasting how is this upvas? Upvas means sitting near to the divine one. That's what it translates into when you're looking at it in your spiritual sense. So your upvas should be nam smaran, reading religious books, reading about the deity that you're fasting for, and taking a limited amount of food. And whatever you do cook, whatever you do eat, you should be dedicating it to that ishta there, dedicating him to that deity. In no way is it you thinking about I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to eat this, and then deep fry everything. It doesn't serve a purpose at all. In fact, I think you know as well as I do, and it might be a strong message, that you are cheating yourself. You're not cheating the deity, the deity already knows. You're cheating yourself, you're cheating your sadhana. So make your sadhana strong. When you're fasting, or when you're doing upvas, call it upvas, sitting near to the divine. That means chant the holy name, read holy books, then you'll be near to the divine. Eat less. Falahar means eating fruits. Fal is fruit. Yeah, so if it's falahar, you eat fruit and you're allowed some nuts. Yeah, so that's what I would say. My rant is over on fasting, feasting, upvas, fasting, upvas, upvas. Any questions, of course, DM me. Thank you.